transportation with high speed and high energy efficiency. Those are the major benefits of railway networks and rail transport. Those high benefits are the reason for railways being an important transport system for passengers as well as freight globally. Rail transport is used for about 8% of passenger and freight transport on the world. Trains can travel faster than cars and buses. Also, passenger transport by railway networks requires less energy than transportation by car or by plane. Calculations indicate that electric trains are much more efficient than cars, on average 20 times more efficient. Rail transport is accounting for 9% of world passengers, but only consumes 1% energy. Shifting long distance freight transport from the road to railways could save a lot of carbon emissions. As you can see, there are strong arguments for building and growing railway systems for passengers and freight transport. Of course, there are also challenges in railway systems. Railway networks are highly capital intensive. Hence, many railway systems receive high subsidies in number of billions. Railway tracks need a lot of space for the needed infrastructure and have a potentially lower acceptance of local communities. If, for example, railway infrastructure diminishes green space of the affected area. Trains are heavy, cannot deviate from the track and have long braking distances, which can be longer than the sighting distance of the train driver. This means trains cannot stop within the driver's sighting distance and therefore have a higher risk for collisions with another train or vehicle. Instead, road vehicles with their rubber tires and the road surface have much shorter braking distances. Therefore, trains require railway signaling and strict operating rules to control railway traffic safely. Due to the benefits of the high speed and high energy efficiency, many countries rely on rail transport. For example, in Europe, where almost the entire continent is connected by one integrated network. On the contrary, Railway networks have significant challenges of being highly capital intensive. The need for space for the infrastructure and less flexibility since trains cannot deviate from the tracks. Therefore, to successfully build and operate a railway system, long term strategic planning is essential. Mistakes and failures in operating, maintaining and planning a railway system can have disastrous consequences. Despite potential casualties from train accidents in the worst cases, also bottlenecks and frequent breakdowns can bring major interruptions and deadlocks or even bring a railway network to standstill. A good measure of the quality of a railway network is the on-time performance. A poor on-time performance leads to economic costs for the transport service provider as well as to the delayed customers or goods recipient. As an example, the German state-owned railway company receives significant public funding compared to global railway companies and is one of the largest railway companies of the world. Though Having the privilege of such funding, the German railway company is in a deep crisis. Decades of mismanagement led to a decreasing operational performance of the German railway network. The on-time performance of the German state railway company dropped to numbers around 60% of all trains. Though the measurement is slack, even cancelled trains are not counted into the statistics. Despite the low performance, the management team granted themselves the highest bonuses of millions of euros just in the last year. As you can imagine, this resulted in conflicts with their employees who are experiencing a crisis in their everyday work. Employees are asked to deliver with their highest efforts to keep railway operations running. I leave it to you to judge on the example.
By making use of lobbying with the German administration and blaming the low condition of the infrastructure, the intention is to raise higher funds from the state. Now, the management team must prove that the funding is efficiently invested into renewing the infrastructure and technology and eventually enhances the operational performance. Just recently, a job posting was found for railway systems searching for a Windows version 3.11 administrator role. But there are also highlights. A huge success story of the German railway system is the Intercity Express, abbreviated as ICE, which is a high-speed rail system. ICE trains can drive up to 320 km per hour and provide a very high level of comfort. Since many years, ICE trains get constantly updated and renewed with latest innovations and with growing passenger numbers. Boarding and driving an ICE is a great experience. There are further outstanding examples for excellent management and a very high on-time performance. Japan has probably the world's best on-time performance in rail transport. In Europe, passengers get compensated for delays of more than 60 minutes. In comparison, in Japan, passengers get compensated for delays of 5 minutes. When trains are delayed for an hour or more, it may even appear in a Japanese newspaper. Japanese high-speed trains have an unbelievable low average delay of just 0.2 minutes, even considering natural disasters. Sure, this comes with a price. The Japanese railway workers work under very high pressure with a high degree of discipline. Again, I leave it to you to judge on the example. In today's session, we will try to build and operate a railway network in the business simulation game OpenTDD. OpenTDD simulates a transport corporation based on our real world. Starting your own transport corporation, you can build networks with trains, trucks, buses, airplanes and ships to transport freight and passengers between industries and towns on the map. We will strive to build an efficient and sustainable railway company which requires good strategic planning for the highest capacity and for synergies in our network, avoiding collisions, bottlenecks with signaling. I'm sure that many of you will find more efficient ways of designing the network. Since I am new to OpenTDD, I always appreciate to receive your feedback in the comments. Now, let's start the game. This is the main menu of OpenTDD. Today, we will start a new game. We will use a kind of large map size with a rather flat terrain type because, as you can imagine, trains cannot go so flexible up the hill and down the hill and mountains. So that's why we try to have a rather flat environment. I will generate the world now. And first press the pause button to first have an overview of the environment we are facing. As you can see, there are numerous cities around the map. And also we find here, for example, numerous industries, mines, factories, and so on, who provide and receive rate. For trains, it is very important, since they are very capital intensive, that we efficiently invest our first money into the infrastructure. Because once invested, it's not so flexible, not so easy to change and move the infrastructure. So we should dec decide and just consider the first location very well. We have $200,000, which leaves us some kind of flexibility. Still, we should find a good starting position. We have the first January of 1950, so we are in the age of steam-powered trains. What we will look for is an industry and connecting a mine with an industry which generates high profits from the start. And there's here in the game, luckily, a function to show in graphs the cargo payment rates. 
you see here with the different lines and colorings on the left side here on the y-axis the payment rates and on the x-axis the days in transit and as you see for most of the goods we see here or passengers also ones they are going down with the the longer the days are in transit of course yeah the faster something is delivered the higher the customer will pay for it at the same time there are some goods which should be delivered quickly and want to reach the target in very short time like passengers and there are once some goods which can stay on track for quite some time until um, the payment rate significantly drop the highest value is generated from valuables which are provided by banks since we don't have banks in the very early beginning start of the first day in the games we will neglect this for now second one is so-called goods which we can provide to towns and cities however goods needs to be transported quickly if we don't transport them within a couple of specific days soon the payment rates will very quickly diminish the third one in place is coal and also we see here steel this is not so quickly going down in terms of payment rate compared to days in transit and still the payment rate is high so we will look for an opportunity to transport coal to a power plant for me i always start with a location nearby to a city with a lot of inhabitants right from the start because i think nearby big cities there is a good chance that um, also we can build later on synergies upon our infrastructure we will buy and build for example let's check this city here and see what industries and mines you will find I see a lot of power plants here and one coal mine. Mm -hmm. Let's check another one. There's a lot of water nearby, probably not so good for tracks. They're not going over water, right? Except for short distances on bridges. See here a coal mine, another coal mine. Why not start? Why not start with this one? Here's a coal wine, and here is a coal mine, and here's a coal pow fired power plant. And we will now start to build tracks to connect both. What we have here in challenge is that you see here streets from the nearby towns in between, so we need to efficiently connect those via our tracks we'll start with the mine providing the goods first of all we need to decide the number of tracks we will have in the rail station next to it let's check that we don't miss the right corridor somewhere around here good like this and we can already build some of the tracks yeah this should work and now built already since we see here multiple industries the same location two actually let's build three tracks here in between leave a little bit of space to the town maybe later we want to also build a station near to the town for now we need to save money and that's why we first of all only concentrate on connecting the coal mine with this coal-fired power plant 
this is a point-to-point -point connection here. We could have also decided to only build one railway track, which is enough for one train. But later on, as we will um, try to let drive more trains on the same tracks to not always build a new track for a new train, we will We will build one track per direction so that trains can pass by. Yeah? If you have one train railway, then they would not pass by, but with two, they can pass by. As a starting point to be able to let a train Enter the tracks, we will need a depot. Here it is. And now by clicking on the depot, we can buy a new vehicle. We will buy the cheapest one, which is the slowest one actually. And now we need to decide for the train length. As you could already see that I cho have chosen a um, station length of four. Of course, the train length will not be longer than four because otherwise the train cannot be efficiently onboarded, offboarded with passengers or goods and so on. Um, four is, I think, an average good, well-working um, train length. The longer, the more, and the longer and higher the infrastructure for train stations you need, the shorter, the less goods you can transport, and four is a good balance, I think. You will need coal hops now. This is exactly a train with trainings for. We'll now create a schedule. First go to the mine, then down to the coal power plant, and then for maintenance back into the depot. We will fully load cargo near next to the mine from the mine and unload all next to the power plant. And that's it. And now let the train do the work. We will not drive the train by ourselves. The train will just follow tracks. And as you know, trains have a very short driving train driver sighting distance, shorter than the brakes. Also in this game, it means we need to take care with safety measures, signaling and correctly building the tracks so the trains do not collide or break down. We will now, while the train is loading, 7% already, 9% now, the coal from the mine, we will at the same time now already start to enhance our network so that we have all signaling in place that trains can efficiently pass by each other. Mm -hmm. Later on, we will build much more signals to increase the capacity of the tracks, more trains efficiently going over the tracks and transporting goods. 35% still takes some time for the first time. Let's see if there's another opportunity. In here we see, uh, no, here we see an iron steel mill, which needs iron ore and luckily Iron ore is close by, we find it here. And another coal mine, this is good. So we can already leverage on our existing rails. Um, the only thing what we have here is a river in between, but we can build a bridge. Let's see how we can get close to it. Definitely a topic is that we have here the river. We need to now efficiently plan how to connect both industries. So as you can see for the coverage area, we cannot build one station for both. 
we need to somehow build two to reach both. At the same time, we need space around it to efficiently build the tracks and a bridge. Everything a little bit squeezed here. Let's try. this variant and see if it works. So this is iron ore, as you can see. We still have money to also build a bridge. Just a short one, luckily, we'll take the best one. Now we need to build a connection. This works. Great. Again, don't forget signaling because otherwise trains will collide. And soon we will earn our first money. You see in the small window that already our train fully loaded with coal is now approaching the coal fired power plant while we are building already the next connection for the next opportunity to connect a mine with the factory. Yeah, I think this works already. Now we need to close by the depot. Like this, of course, signaling. This should work. Again, we still have money. We will buy the cheapest train. And this time we need an iron ore hopper. Let's give instructions to the train first. Go here, unload, uh, no, load, and then go to the factory, unload, and go to maintenance if needed. Maintenance is important, otherwise a train after a while will have many breakdowns, will go slower, due to the breakdowns and at the same time, each time the breakdown happens, it stops on the tracks, blocking the tracks, other trains not being able to pass by. That's why we need to take care of maintenance, of course. So now what we see, the train is hopefully soon loaded now with iron ore. Yeah, 3% already. Take some time. This one will require iron ore and produce steel. So already now we could reuse some of our built infrastructure. You see this railway station can be used for offloading, unloading, coal and iron ore. Let's check what else we can do. What I see here is we have another coal mine, so why not connecting this coal mine with, again, the power plant. What is in the way is that we have here a difference in the height, just where we want to build the tracks. Let's think of an efficient solution to this. We can remove the mountain, but this will be very expensive. We'll avoid this for now. We will rather be 
leave enough space so that we can still manage. I think this is fine. And then Yes. Let's now connect both stations. Also take care that all tracks can be used. Almost forgot to connect this. This should work. Now add signaling. Like this. Yeah, looks good. I think. And now, again, we will build a depot and buy a train. Yeah, we have enough money. Again, a single lane. Yes, like this. So one train, you see train one was already in for maintenance. Other train is already again. Loading iron ore. Again, buy the cheapest one, take a coal hopper. As you might remember, coal has a very high value to be transported. However, the same time does not decrease a lot in payment rates for a longer time needed. So we can afford to have a slow train and the longer the distance, the higher the payment rates. Now the train stopped, of course, no schedule yet. First go to here, then to the coal mine, and then go to the depot for maintenance if needed. Fully load, unload all, go. Great. So now we have three trains in service. Two delivering coal to a power plant and one delivering iron ore to a steel plant. Now we can check what else we can connect with each other. What is the next opportunity to use our existing network? There's not much close actually. Okay. Searching for something which is interesting and generates profits without investing too much money at once. Another coal mine. I think this is good. Coal is good. And yeah, there's a little bit of height difference. But still this will work. And another coal mine here. Mine or here. Wood here. Yeah, wood we don't have next to our tracks at the moment. Okay, let's now, as money flows into our bank account, start to build tracks in the direction of the coal mine. So again, we need to plan for it. Maybe we can already foreseeing that we might Also, use the steel mill later on. 
we can find a way of squeezing in a station in between. No, that's not really possible. Like this. It's not ideal, right? Because there's also the oil rig between, which we need to drive pass by. Never mind, we will try to do this. Here it is. And then build tracks until around here. And then change into the direction of the coal mine. Okay, great. Let's do that. This should work like this. Then we need to get rid of this one. This is still the way. Okay, good. Very efficiently went through this. Passed by. Great. This works. Again, never forget signaling before starting to approach the station with a train because collisions can occur anytime. Yeah, I think this works. Yes, this looks good. 40k on our bank account. I think it's enough to buy a train. This one, speed does not matter so much for coal. This is our new train. So first of all, of course, pick up coal, then go to our power plant and afterwards maintenance if needed. go that is and now we see already why i sometimes choose if there's a space to have at least three tracks on a station because of course trains will block one track when loading or unloading and this way two trains can pass by maybe this will happen later on you can see like the train and soon entering here the station and loading. First time it always takes time. Sixty seven percent transported. This one fifty seven percent. I think this is good. Okay. Speciality of steel mills is that um, stations next to them also accept passengers. Passengers do not have such high payment rates and need very expensive, faster trains. At the same time, we can still use the same infrastructure here.
and we could pick up passengers from here and from here and transport them to the steel mill and earn some more money. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. So we will slowly build this because the money needs to, needs to flow in. I think this is good. We need to be aware that we have here now tracks connected without signaling. We always need to be very careful because if multiple trains go on tracks without signaling, Collisions can occur anytime, but it's fixed now. Good, and we need another station here. Let's see if this works. Yeah, this works. Again, quickly adding signaling. Good. Now we need a depot. Build one here. This. Always be aware that you need enough space between stations, otherwise it can lead to a deadlock. You will experience this if you start playing the game, or if you played this already for a long time, then you probably know. Since those are very short distances, you will buy a cheap one. I guess we cannot buy enough passenger cars. To do first, we need to earn some money. I see a train approaching here, big coal mine, so I'm sure that funding will arrive soon. A floating 66%, 50%, 34%, 17%, 0%. Yes, great. Now let's the longest train which can be served by the stations and we will instruct the train to first let's try to make this Go here, then here, and then here, and then to maintenance. Okay, so first of all, pick up from the longest distance, the longest, farthest way away, town I would say, pick up. Then the next one. And later. stop at the steel mill and any passenger still on the train will be offboarded. Good, let's see how it works. So now again, we can transport with one train. This time, 
Passenger is without building new tracks. This is how we can generate synergies for the infrastructure we invest in, which is quite capital, invest, uh, capital intensive. So here, livestock and grain. I don't know with what to connect. It's very far away. The truth, the money is, we have enough money. There's another coal mine, but somehow oil rig. Maybe we can build a U. Maybe we can go a U here. Do we? Need woods. Ah, uh, here. Yeah. yeah, this is not not helpful. This looks like opportunities to also transport passengers later on. From here, we can extend our passenger line. Yeah, let's do this. First of all, like this. Let's see if this works. Might to extend, might want to extend later. Let's do so now already. Never forget signaling before something happens. Yes, this works. Good. And now let's extract our passenger train. to also approach Bennington Fun. Yeah, I think we need to define a new schedule. So for What is an efficient way of providing passengers here? I think the best is to start here, then stop here, then stop here, and then 
liegt ab hier. And then go all the way. Back. We build a depot here. this let's find the passenger train where is it here it's going up here Yeah, I think this works. So now it goes first to the this station, then to Planway, then to Invenley Market, then to the steel mill. By the way, there's another steel mill here, but it's very far away. Probably takes too long with this slow train and then goes back. Okay, good. So this should work for now. Now, this is oil rig. Yeah, this will be complicated. We need to cross water here, then go down here to the oil rig. Let's try this. this already now adding signaling to not forget anything yeah like this <laughs> let's see how we solve this here now First of all, connecting all the tricks, the adding the signaling. No. Okay. So we first need to, I would say, get it closer to the water and then build a bridge. Over water and then connect. Let's see if this works. No. Yeah, this looks good. Nice. Good. Very good. Now we have several options. 
We have an oil rig here. We have more passengers on this station. And another coal mine. Since we still have money left, so money is flowing in from all the trains, which are seems like operating not too bad. Let's try this. Again, don't forget the signaling like this and now connect. Yeah, it's not ideal, right? That we have a lot of curves, but I think it's still acceptable. One is missing, yeah, like this. And now, we need a train to go all the way from here to the coal mine. Maybe build another depot here. Yes. And another one here. As you see, we need to clear some of the trees and the local communities, of course, don't like this. So the acceptance for your transport company will decrease the more you do it. So now we will again buy a slower one. to the instructions. So first of all, go here, get the coal and then all the way. It's actually not a long distance, but it will go some, some way around things. To the coal power, for fired power plant. Unload maintenance and go. Good. So it's getting busy and busy. We have already six trains on our fully connected tracks. We have a system where we have in general two tracks in parallel with a fixed direction, of course, so that collisions cannot appear. So what we also have here is that we can transport oil to the oil rig here. And there is oil, there is oil, there is oil salt. Yeah, here. Not sure if we can reach it. The train station. <laughs> no, cannot. It's too far away. It's too far away. We should have built the tracks differently, but we chose this variant because We have this hill here and we didn't want to go over it. There are now two options how we can connect this. One option is to build some kind of rail feeder line. Yeah, one track here and the train just going back and forth. I think this is not so efficient. Or build a truck feeder line. to either a new station or to this station.
Let's build it to the station. The station already exists. So now we will add another transportation system. We have one infrastructure for trains, which we try to use for as many trains as we can. It's highest capacity. At the moment all having the same speed. That's why it's working quite smoothly, I guess. However, we cannot connect to this very efficiently via tracks. So we will use a feeder line and very flexible feeder lines always using, using trucks. For trucks, we also need a truck loading and unloading bay first. Bit this kind. Yeah, supplying oil and then streets. Ah, okay. Did not work as expected. Another bay. If it is directly connected to the train station, then it will belong to it. And anything arriving here will be available in the train station. Of course, need a depot. Yeah, let's build it here. Is it connected? Yeah, it's connected. And now from here, start with one vehicle, an oil tanker, and going here, picking up oil, unloading, going back for maintenance if needed. And then let's start to transport and transfer. So now will take some time until significant amounts of oil is arriving at the station and then we will send the train. Great. And then it will go all the way up, long, long, long away to here, the oil refinery. Good. Money is still flowing in since this took some time. Okay, there's another opportunity to transport coal. Why not also connect this to our network? So we need to extend here. Oh, this is kind of tight, yeah, but I think it will work. Yes, it's working just, just like that. Great. Mm -hmm. We have here something? No, not really. So the challenge here is it's again on a hill. Could also go. No, this is also not easy terrain here now. That thing strategically, we build it here. No, I think we first need to. Get some space for the station. 
This is very costly, as you can see. Never mind. Still doing it like this. Not sure how we'll connect the cities, but never mind. this somehow in the way is it possible just in theory to hear now drop no, not possible. Like this. Good. So we also have access to the city here. It's very tight here. I think it's working. It's not ideal, right? what is here what's going on here already flat okay This is not ideal, of course. Trains will go around corners at the same time, have this difference in level to take. However, since this is at the entrance and exit of a station, probably it's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, this works. So now, as we were, we were planning, let's see. Yeah, there are already quite some liters of oil. Let's now send a train all the way. Let's first see. No, this is the wrong one. The payment rates for oil this one yeah it's not very high and we have some time to transport it it's not decreasing too soon so we will again choose a cheaper one oil tanker and so we sent it so we will go here where the feeder line ends and all the way up to here and then back for maintenance here maintenance load unload go for it so let's now check how well the one truck does it work 63 percent transported i think we can send another truck Trucks are not so expensive. We need an oil tanker. 9k. 
Actually, there's a more efficient way by just copying, but this is not so critical now. This one is the transfer and fully load. Great, this is working. So now here, let's build a depot. Maybe just here. Never forget the signaling. Like this. Buy a train here to transport coal from, from the mine. And then from here go up, 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 up to a coal-fired power plant and go back for maintenance. Long ways to go. Fully load, unload, and go. Great. Next train on the tracks. And this is the exit the advantage of three tracks so still one track open though two are loading now well, this gets interesting here soon don't have more space for another track here we need to build one more here but this is tight <laughs> probably there's only the opportunity Let's check if this works. If we can extend. Not sure if this works. I think it's not an issue. But this one. Oops. Let's see if this works. Not sure. Yeah. No, this does not work. See, there's no space for a signal. Yeah, it's not good. Cannot leave it like that. We need to remove it. Never mind. We need to remove the connection. It's not working like this. Unfortunately, only three tracks available at the station. Hopefully this will not get into a traffic jam soon. We have here steel mill, which produces steel, but we cannot do anything with steel at the moment, so we will ignore it. Fifty nine per cent. This one seventy five per cent. Good. This works. Does not look very busy here. Sixty seven. 65. This one is oh, not many passengers here. And no profit so far. It's not very profitable, the line. Maybe you should extend to those cities here because they will provide more passengers.
from Fennington. Before Fennington, it can start here. Before Renville Woods, we can go here. Let's see if profitability increases. There are other tricks okay, with feeder lines, but let's keep it like this for now. One passenger waiting. For example, here's the city. I'm sure they will provide some passengers who are willing to go to the station. Yeah, let's do this. Let's build a passenger feeder line. This time a bus station directly connected. Let's build another one. Here. And then build it street like this. Yeah, it's connected. Depot and bus going here, and here and maintenance if needed. Fully load and transfer. Why transfer? We don't want to, the passengers to stop here. We want them to get transferred further so that with longer distance we get higher profits. Let's see if the profitability increases with those measures. Okay, there can be another train getting coal from here, by the way. Let's build another train to get coal. from here and transport all the way to here and then go for maintenance here. Fully load, unload, go. 